Hello everyone, it's Bex Planner UK on Instagram here and I saw a post recently on Reddit and it was saying that um, someone had a very busy job, a very demanding job and they wanted to see planners of people that also had really busy jobs and really busy lives. They were saying that they weren't really interested in seeing pretty planners and planners that have maybe like a few to-dos per day and a cleaning schedule or social media um, planning, that didn't really interest them. They wanted to see some real planners in action for people um, with really, really demanding jobs and lives like the person that had posted. And that got me thinking, of course, I'm not saying that all pretty planners um, are not functional. But there seems to be a lack of posts and creators that are very much led by function first and maybe decoration, either not at all or secondary to actually the purpose, the real purpose of their planners. And of course, I love seeing really neat, really pretty planners. Um, I think that's really, really inspiring and I would love to uh, be like that myself and I have had pretty, pretty planners in the past. Um, but for me and at this stage in my life, um, obviously planners are very functional first and foremost. Um, my style, I suppose, is more messy and chaotic um, and things as well with obviously my busy day job. I also have my business, I've got three kids, I've got lots going on, like lots of people do. Um, but I don't think there are many accounts um, that kind of take that approach and are putting that content first and foremost. So I did kind of agree um, and sympathise really with the person that posted on um, Reddit. So... I just wanted to really rally everyone and just say, please, in the comments below, obviously, um, let me know if you have an Instagram or a YouTube account um, and it's very much focused on functional planning, first and foremost, or who do you like to watch that kind of takes that approach. So please let me know in the comments so that me and others can obviously find these accounts um, so people that are using their planners in a non-aesthetic way, or it might be aesthetic, but it's very much, um, you know, showing their busy lives and how they handle it effectively. And I really find it fascinating seeing people's planners, their systems, how they use them, what works for them, how they change it and adapt it to make sure that it's working for them. Um, and I do struggle to find videos like that so I would love to to find more and I kind of thought about myself as well I think on my channel when I do post videos obviously there's a lot of my kind of journal content and creative journal um kind of flip throughs and obviously I think I fall into the same trap really that I think people are more interested in seeing maybe that side of things rather than, you know, messy pages, you know, in terms of, you know, planners as well. But I did post a reel recently on Instagram a few days ago and it's had a phenomenal amount of views with people kind of looking and watching the reel. So I thought actually maybe other people are interested in seeing the messy reality of life and, you know, how people kind of schedule their days and their projects and everything that they need to do. So actually, I'm going to try and make an effort and I am going to try and post more of this type of content, both on Instagram and on YouTube. Um, so let me know what you think about that. Is that something that you're interested in? Have you got any questions or videos that you'd like to see from me? If so, please Again, add them in the comments and that would be fantastic. Um, so I can start kind of thinking ahead and scheduling it in. I think that generally 
I don't show my business planner online, either on Instagram or on here. Um, and that's mainly because I've got for Planner Fest, Journal Fest, Stationery Fest, there's obviously a lot of confidential information like speakers that I want to approach or that have signed up and exhibitors and stall holders and things. So obviously that's why I don't really post much content from my business planner, but certainly from my work planner, from my day job. So I work full time as a lecturer um, and in my planners, I never write any sensitive information anyway. So, um, you know, there's no um, names or details or anything that, um, you know, that I shouldn't share. So I can share my work planner. Obviously, if there's anything that um, that is sensitive, I would cover it over and obviously not show it. So, yeah, so that was really my, I suppose, revolutionary thinking um, and thought process. Um, my planners are very messy, they're purely functional, first and foremost, they're constantly changing the way that I do things to, you know, make my system better and make it work better for me. And so maybe it is something that I should share. You can see here I've got Tipex, I've got Crossing Out. It's definitely not pretty. I've got very, you know, I've got a bit of washi tape, um, but definitely not really any stickers unless I happen to have some space left over and maybe I would occasionally pay, paste a sticker down but it's very much function above everything else so I'm going to make an effort I am going to post more videos and Instagram content about my planners and about how I use my planners for my busy life and I hope that that might help people obviously everyone is so busy aren't they um nowadays so it might um be really helpful and people might get something from it maybe um and i really hope that you'll join me and that you'll do the same as well i'm going to use the hashtags functional planner functional planning functional planning community seem to be the main hashtags i think that people are using so yeah let me know what you think um and let me know what videos you'd like to see let me know what content you like uh, watching and seeing on Instagram in terms of more functional planning and yeah thanks ever so much for watching happy planning happy journaling mm -hmm.